Hello! Welcome back to my uh, golden child of a series, um, the Overclock Workshop. A really original, uh, newly made, no one's ever thought of making Overclocks before. Not even DLG. Well, it's... Everyone comes up with their own ideas. I don't think I've ever really seen a video like this, though. Um, that is because true. Because I ignore them all. <laughs> yeah. I think that I think that burp's dissipated. I think we're okay. Anyway, um, um, you didn't have to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to bring it up. <laughs> you know, bring it up from my stomach. No, I, my I, mouth. I did get it. I, yeah. I did, I did. So, of course, we're starting off with the engineer primaries. We're now on the stubby, the hopeless little electric SMG. <laughs> um, hopeless. It's quite a rude thing to say. Well, it is. In my opinion, it is kind of an outlier of a weapon. I'd say its only real like, um, partner in crime is the Shard Raptor. In their weapons, that don't just shoot an element, but they are very focused around an element. The Stubby more so than any other gun, I think. Yeah. It is just if, a gun, the, but the it does a lot of electric stuff. are not inherently... Uh, yeah, the element. Well, well the bullets do actually have bullets. electric damage in them, and that's what EM Refire Booster does. But anyway, we're here to present, as we did last week, for the stubby, we're going to present one clean, one balanced, and one unstable each. So that's two of each. Um, yeah. That makes six. So it's going to go three you, times me, two you, me, six. you, me, right? No, it's going to go me, 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 then you, then me, then you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's just going to go you, you, you with the video ends. <laughs> you just got me to make them all for no reason. Right, so we start with my clean uh, AAA batteries. Now, uh, obviously I've seen all of ours. I've seen I've seen yeah. all of them. So, so I've noticed we've sort of gone in a similar direction, kind of, with the cleans, in that I believe that we sort of fulfilled a role. Not a role, but added something to the stubby that it's lacking that it should have had. Because it really doesn't have any sort of just like a little more oomph upgrades or overclocks just things that make it a little bit stronger so yeah. triple a batteries a slight increase to electrocution damage and duration which is something i know they can do it's not <laughs> it's not it's not hard for them to do it's plus 0.5 seconds and plus one damage per tick um i like i like my description here well, i mean i've told you this we put better batteries in the gun it's made it do electrocute more better <laughs> So you this is a very straightforward, just stronger electricity, and it's you know not strong, not so strong that it needs any penalties whatsoever. Yeah, just uh, you know, a classic clean just makes it slightly better <laughs> at something. Yeah, I'm not sure if the point five seconds is too like little. Maybe it should be plus one of each. Yeah, because. Pardon me. Yeah, it has plus, to be plus one damage per tick is not, not a lot. <laughs> not necessarily like like noticeable, just notable. Like it it, it actually affects something. Because if that point five of a tick, do you even do damage? Or oh, not point five of a tick, point five seconds, I guess. Do you even like? I think that's two actually... ticks at least. I think right, it's about two ticks. So, I think if it was plus one of each, it would be noticeable. Um, and it would work, I I believe. <laughs> You would say that. You what? I and I, I think it's, I don't really know how the stubby works in how this would translate to electric arc. I think it would make electric arc stronger technically. I don't know. Or well, does it increase the chances of electric? It doesn't, does it? New. No. I think that's the only thing that is actually tied to that that would actually help it. Well, obviously, it would help electric arc because it means you're gonna do more electric arc. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so it's just a very basic clean overclock that increases the strength of electric properties. You can't argue about this. It's perfect. Um, it's very, it's very balanced. Except it's not balanced. It's clean. Um, let's move on. Actually, we can move on. So Tyler's clean. Uh, upgraded clips, which is a, a fantastic, fantastically simple name. Um, I I I feel like uh, through these engineer ones, I've used all of the like terms 
that you could come up with for like ammunition. 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 Um, I'll save that one for some other weapon. Um, ammunition. But yeah, point is, uh, I feel like its name represents what it does. Does it though? The... Because it adds one damage and fifty ammo. It actually doesn't change the clips at all. <laughs> it just makes it better. It's just a very simple. Just do more damage. Uh, have more ammo, but not really particularly a lot in either. I'm not sure if it's balanced. I'm not sure if it's no. It's, weak. it's fine. It well, it could be. It, it could be too weak. I don't think it is though. I think it's just fine. Point is, I feel like you know, sometimes the stubby could just do with that. <laughs> like you don't feel like particularly specking into anything too hard, so just make it a bit better. <laughs> just well, that's just... how I felt with the electricity. So yeah, and if these were both, if these both happen to be added, then it would just be. You could just choose. Do you want it to be a little bit better? To, to yeah, although or if, do you want if, it to be a little if, bit I, better? if they were to be the adding like, any of our things or you know any of our suggestions, I don't really want them adding two cleans. <laughs> like, no, yeah. well, that's not what I would expect when they do get to adding new overclocks. It was always like, I imagine... Um... One for each Probably. weapon. But they, it, doesn't, it could be balanced or all unstable, so I wouldn't mind. I just I just think they might even it out, so there's there's a, like an even amount of every type well, on each gun. That's why I would start. Like three with, of each, this is a discussion for another time, really, isn't it? This is a discussion for something like season three predictions, perhaps. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Who knows when you'll be getting that? Is that what the? That's not what the next podcast is supposed to be, is it? No, no. Next no. podcast is guns and event, and we will dedicate an actual video to season three predictions. Is that? Is that your idea? Yeah. Good, yeah, good. Probably. Good, good. So the cleans, obviously, we can't really debate the cleans. Can't really say, your idea is shit, because yeah. they're cleans. So, and obviously you don't yep. know what my balanced ones, what my balanced one is. Um, I do not. Rubber bullets. Uh, oh. It doesn't make a lot of sense. The, the icon I used is the uh, the ricochet one, and that's for us, but that's right. because uh, they ricochet. I guess I should just read but it says, um, bullets bounce between up to three enemies. Um, slightly increased electrocution chance. That's plus 10%. Uh, decreased damage, minus two. And uh, the weak, if you hit on a weak point, it will absorb the bullet, basically, so it can't bounce. Um, right. And they can only bounce between enemies. You can't bounce off the floor into other enemies. <laughs> the description's great, because it's like, it's like something about rubber's real conductive, or so they say, but it's like, that's the opposite. Because that's why they put it around wires, because it's ductile, I think, which is the yeah. opposite of conductive. So it makes no sense whatsoever that it would increase the chance of execution. But yeah, it's sort of just, it's meant to discourage using the gun as a normal weapon, and much more so as an AoE option. Because it'll bounce between enemies and it'll electrocute them more effectively. But it won't do much direct damage, and it actively discourages using weak point um hits so it's very much so an aoe focused thing and the stuffy's only real aoe options come from the unstables which are totally I mean, related as well yeah which isn't necessarily bad but it is more unintuitive than it just being built into the weapon itself and, and this is kind of weird this that... is still slightly awkward because you like have to avoid weak points and stuff like that yeah well you don't inherently have to avoid them it's just you need to pay the price of aiming for them, right? You'll do more direct damage to the target. That's still going to be the case, right? Um, yeah, but, yeah, I suppose. But, but that's you, not you really just what won't get the AOE you. effect. New. No. I, I do have a slight worry about how strong this would end up being against like hordes of grunts, especially if you have increased electrocution chance and electric arc. I, I feel like you might just be melting through them. It would be even worse against things like oppressors, which already can't be electrocuted. Well, I feel like we should mention our bias in the. I think the stubby could do with actually melting things, <laughs> like Perhaps. being good and that kind of thing. I think it can melt like, certain things with the Emery Fire Booster. You can tear through like acid spitters and slashes. Nothing stronger. Wow. Nothing stronger though. <laughs> Max Terror. Max Terror's it's fine against. You know. This would be fun against Mac Terror groups of Mac Terrors, I think, as well. I, I want I want to do that. 
But also, electrocution itself doesn't do a massive amount of damage. And when you're doing less direct damage, you're sort of relying on the electrocution. So you are just going to be slowly taking out a lot of enemies at the same time. And I kind of like that. Because you can already kind of do that with electric art, but this just makes it way more effective. And I think it's quite good. Would you be willing to try and tear this down in any way? Or do you think I've hit the nail on the head here? Well, I think if you hit the nail Thank on you. the head, then it would ricochet to other enemies. But um... That's that's true. But you, what, do heads do count as a weak point? Um, no, right. On what? It does on a lot of well, things. Just... Grunts, it's their faces. Yeah. Grunts and Ed Fitters and Acid Spitters, I think that's it. And I think Menace's faces too. I don't know. I think it would be a uh, interesting choice. Pardon me. Like an interesting build where you actively avoid hitting weak points. I think mean, that. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, at least a new this, mechanic. This is, I think, me subconsciously creating an overclock where I would actually really want to use hyper propellant if I was using this. Yeah. Because I don't. Yeah. I don't. Because you do you'll like need that. Then. But I never feel encouraged to use it. I never feel like I'm making up for it. That's the problem with hyperpropellant. <laughs> that's the, that's yeah. the hyperpropellant rant. We did that. <laughs> Check that off the list. Sure. <laughs> so, for like, give give us enough time, and you'll probably do like ten of them. Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. But, uh, is it my my balance now? Yeah yeah. We can move on to yours. This is one of my. I wouldn't say lesser preferred ones. Drain just... shot. Yeah. Which once again shots. That's another. Shots. <laughs> Point is drained. Uh, of electricity. Because. And the the positive negatives they just all come up at the same time, right? Like yeah. After this. Uh, so I'll just go with the negatives because that's the main catch. Uh, you lose all electrocution. Yeah. Um, in in the stubby, which is a change, and which. Thinking about it, it probably would be an unstable, but it ended up being a uh, balanced uh, due to its balanced dish nature. Uh, so, yeah, you lose 100% electricity, you know, uh, starting chance. So, you ain't going to be doing that anytime soon. Uh, and with a. Here it can run without battery power, so you've essentially turned it into an analog gun. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Definitely didn't just forget to charge it. Trust. That's, that's <laughs> like, right, that's right. I don't know why the trust right. has a capital T. But we're not here to criticise Tyler's grammar. Shush. Sh I am. Shush. <laughs> don't, don't. That's me. Uh, I can hear your button clicking quite a lot. Okay. That's Go not good. On, that's man. not good for the viewers. You know. If you point it out, the weak point bonus because to compensate from the significant lack of damage, which I guess is probably something I should, you know, you are going to be doing a fair bit less damage without electric. It is now a lot better at weak points, which is, I guess, the opposite of Harry's thing. <laughs> like, it is we've kind of been going like opposites. Yes, at this we point, have, uh, which is interesting. Well, I wouldn't say the same about the unstables, but. Well, we'll find out. Uh, as in, I'll find out. You'll know. Uh, but yeah, yeah, weak point bonus uh, of 30%, which it could be increased, because I now I'm thinking about it, the electric is a pretty strong majority of the damage you do with a stubby, and getting rid of that, I feel like I don't think I've properly compensated for the loss of that damage. Uh, so maybe increase the weak point bonus a little bit. Um, but at least currently plus thirty percent, which is a which is the right amount, I think. For a fast firing gun, thirty percent bonus per shot is 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 an amount. Uh, with uh, a reduced recoil of fifty percent, which uh, pretty much if given the right upgrades, as in using uh, the reduced recoil upgrade, will negate all recoil, which will help hit those into a laser gun. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have electric, uh -huh. and so it, that'll like it'll be a really accurate weak point gun, uh, but you do reduce you you don't do electric shit anymore. Um, so once again, I think it it kind of changes how you use the gun to something at least an interesting different way of using it. 
But yeah, I just wanted to see. I just wanted to kind of spec into what if you got rid of the electric? How good would the stubby be? And like, what what, what could you use it for? And I went for like a weak point kind Killing of thing. Killing oppressors because it can't do that normally. Yeah, it just um, can't. It just can't do it because oppressors don't get electrocuted. Even though, in my opinion, everything should be able to be affected by every status effect. Just with, like... Um, varying results. Exactly! So why can't I electrocute a dreadnought, ghost ship? What's wrong with that? What's so <laughs> wrong with that? Why can't... Have, why can't you have good things? <laughs> Come on, ghost ship. <laughs> Even though just Stubby has no way of breaking armour, either. Or no increased armour breaking anywhere, whatsoever. I would have added that to this, possibly, if it wasn't unstable. That, that, well, yeah. Because uh, they're more effective against weak points and against bodies, body shots. I feel like I feel like it's it's worth mentioning that the numbers and actual stats of these aren't inherently what we're pushing. Uh, I mean, obviously it is, but I feel like with each one we're trying to push an idea of what should be a like a change to the yes. gun or like a thing that added. Um, like with this, I think maybe getting rid of the electric would be an interesting thing to do with the stubby. Um, and that is what, and that's what brought me to this balanced. While it could be others, I think uh, a more boring way would just be increasing the damage of it. Uh, if you can get rid of electricity, yeah. but you don't I didn't really that. want to do that. No. Uh, so I went, things I went like lead storm, overtune blood yeah. accelerator. We got unstable overclocks that just give you a shit ton of damage. It's fine. Yeah, I could, I don't really know. I can't really you know. Tear this down in any way. I don't have any major criticisms of it. Um, not even with your grammar that, that much. Uh, Shut your mouth. Because it, it would just be. Um, it would be better against everything individually. Obviously, you've completely removed its ability to do any kind of AoE, but that only lay in electric arc anyway. Still... Yeah, plus I feel like I feel like he has plenty of other AoE options. Like, you know, Plasma Cutter is nutty uh, for AoE. I'd so, say it still just would fix the Stubby's glaring him. pitfall of not being able to do much against Brundles. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hit Brundles weak points really and you can't... <laughs> no, I like Brundles. I, like, I would like them so not much more if they... The... I bump into, I've bumped into lots of Brundles. I can tell you how many Brundles I've killed right now. Okay. It's important uh... research. This is this helps with the overclock. Uh, One thousand four hundred twenty-five. But I have killed six thousand four hundred thirty-five tridors. <laughs> yeah, considering they're added at the same time. Maxeris have weakness to corrosion, That's, which I guess came about when they added corrosion. Mm. That's great. That's lovely. <laughs> Brilliant. Good stuff. That is it's good stuff. Thank, thanks for that. I love looking at like the Ebonite resistances because <laughs> it's just everything. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like bastards. Yeah. We need to build an overclock that can shoot through Ebonite. Don't. Nobody really think that's a good idea. All right, I think I think <laughs> you've kind of trailed off a bit. Yeah, but mm. I don't like I said. I don't really have any criticisms of your wonderful overclock you've created here. So let's oh, move on to something that you might have a lot of criticism for. Um, my no unstable uh, platform guy. Of course, following on oh, from right. the Warthog's turret guy. Um, we got platform guy this time around. Electrocuting your platform with different effects depending on the uh, fifth tier mod. Um, with slightly reduced electrocution chance, it's only minus point five. Minus 5%, not minus 0.5. Minus 5% electrocution chance and greatly reduced performance of standard electrocution. So that's like times 0.65 duration, um, which basically means minus 35% duration. Oh, and damage, so it's the same. Minus 35% duration and damage of, of electricity um, in normal circumstances. And of course, this is the one where I use the description to explain what it does. And shooting your platforms, oh, ele specifically electrocuting your platforms. Um, if you have electric arc equipped, it will basically give the platform um, like standard electrocution properties for eight seconds. So it just afflicts normal electricity. 
Um, of course, your normal electricity with the gun itself is nerfed, but it's as strong as it should be on the platforms, and it lasts for a decent amount of time. So, it, it but it it well actually it doesn't inflict it; it just does it to enemies while they're on the platform itself. It doesn't inflict a status effect, or it doesn't inflict a damage over time that lasts. When they walk off the platform, they will stop being electrocuted. Uh, but if you were using um, magazine capacity tweak um, and you electrocute platform, the platform will destabilise and melt into a puzzle of corrosive sludge, um, which is lovely, which lasts for an extended period of time. And yeah, yeah. Thing is, I like it. Is... I thought through it before doing this, and I thought, okay, maybe this is actually better than I thought when I first came up with it. I'd like to, <laughs> I'd ra- I'd like you to try and. Tear it down, though, and I will defend it. The thing is, though, is that I actually really like, like, every part of that, except for the fact that it's all one thing. <laughs> like, I I like the concept of, and I mentioned this last time, of overclocks being, you know, connected to mods. That, it, you know, picking mods will not only make overclocks better that he kind of already does but like changes how they work i think that is interesting and it's something they haven't done which could be for a reason could be because they haven't thought of it could be because they don't want to do it uh, but <laughs> yeah it's something that's not done which would be an interesting thing to do and i don't i like both of the actual things like i like you know shooting the floor makes it electric considering you know I mean, the stubby already has turret arc. It's basically the exact same thing, but now it interacts with platforms, which is now, thanks to the new secondary, is a thing. You know, the platforms that, that before they just, you know, they were just a platform, but now they are a part of the whole setting up an area to defend. You can now detonate them and shit like that. So platforms are now on the table as far as dicking around with them to deal damage is concerned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I like the whole corrosive sludge pub thing. I like all of it. I just don't like it. <laughs> like, I I don't think... I don't... I mean, first of all, I mean, I think Stubby's got enough as far as uh, shooting other things and making them better is concerned. Yeah, but I just wanted uh, to do something with the platforms. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I know why you, you did it. Uh... But uh, I, I don't see it as being, like, a thing. Like, oh, I really wish I could use the stubby, like an, an unstable stubby overclock to shoot something else to deal the damage I could be doing with the gun. You know, well, so you know, you've got two it's... of those. Exactly. I feel like I would like That's why one. I'm not saying that. And I don't like the other two. Well, uh, I, I, I think, you know, uh, maybe get rid of one of the other overclocks or change one of the overclocks into one of these like turret arc should be turned into the platform electrocution one or something like that the platform arc basically that's what you're suggesting yeah or like charge platforms or some shit like that point is uh i i I like all of it but comes together and i don't like the result (laughs) i i i I don't know all right okay you would do yeah but consider it as it is do you think the um the corrosion one is does it balance out? Do you think it's better or worse than the other one? I because well, my consideration was how long would the, the corrosion puddle would last longer than the sludge well, pump normal ones puddle, do? Corrosion puddle that that is like like it is basically a goo cannon shot, right? Like it like mm. anything that walks through it will be slowed and applied the corrosion effect. Yeah, but I was thinking maybe it'd be bigger and last longer. I had an idea what if it explodes and does like it's like the charge shot, but I thought no 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 way. No. <laughs> but it's a slightly bigger puddle. I at least want it to last longer because the puddle well the corrosion is just so much better than electricity because the puddle itself slows and inflicts damage over time. But the puddle also gives the enemy the corrosion effect, which does the same thing as well. So it's basically yeah. two in one. Um but it destroys the platform. It's basically it's basically double the strength, if not more, than normal electrocution that the platforms would give. But when you just when you use electric arc on the platforms, it doesn't destroy the platform. I feel that's what balances out because I do think corrosion is much stronger. So I think it works. And also, you could set the puddle on fire. Remember, with your uh, 
I think well, in solo I don't, does I don't it, but you can do it with a shard effect very easily. I don't think losing... Like, losing, like, a platform is a, that much of a negative. No. Like, if you put it down for the express purpose of killing things, I think people would be fine with that. Well, like, yeah. Often am I left with... Far too many platforms to really give a shit about. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not because when I use uh, bug repellent, I also end up using most of them for reversal anyway. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, you'd be I would you'd be encouraged to not use bug repellent again. Bug repellent just pairs so well with the proximity mines, and that's the only real use for it. Yeah, and it would honestly be anti these things, right? Like, <laughs> like. You put bug repellent and they're not going to be walking on the electric platform. No, um, exactly. So, I don't know. I, I, I like the fact that, you know, I think we could do a lot more with bringing weapons to the kit as a whole. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, more things should interact with, like, movement or some, like, stuff like that. I don't know. I just like the idea of putting sludge in more places. I was considering just doing a sludge overclock just straight up for the, for the grenade launcher. Although I don't you know how I'm going to make that work. I, might, I think I might sludge, not do it. sludge is a pretty cool status effect that they've added, and it could definitely do with being used more. Um, so I'm, I'm I'm up for that. But yeah, I don't know. As a whole, I think it's not a bad idea. But I don't. I mean, obviously, as last time, can't ever imagine them adding it to the game. I can imagine this one more than either of the other two. Because you, you're aware of the smart rifle one, kind of. Do you remember it? told you about that. yeah yeah and we'll get to that next week i'm sure you'll that one's gonna really be enjoy a that one. pretty big one it, it's also the one i can defend to the least i i just <laughs> liked it too much this one i do think is the most genuinely um well-rounded idea out of the bunch uh actually, i think in my opinion I it would fit in with one the of these unstable overclocks as, if you want to I create think... a trend I think the whole just literally shooting a platform makes it electric could very much just be a like overclock. Like if if they were to add it onto the stubby, that would fit right in as far as the unstable goes. Well, that's what I would like, work turret, turret arc into, but of course that's not going to fly. Well, turret arc. I mean, the thing is, turret arc kind of does need reworking. It's kind of absolutely broken, but also not, but also is like. The fact that it doesn't consume ammo to have a constant stream of pretty it severe damage is don't broken. Don't ammo, kind of. Yeah, yeah it know. consumes, like, and You lose five. ammo. <laughs> Whatever. You, you, <laughs> like, if you get lucky, it could take, like, two shots to get it started. Whatever. Um, anyway. Uh, you can kill the entire horde, but yeah. Um, because we are, like, you know, such a... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just because you get so much view interaction. Um, tell me if this overclock's good, Harry. No, no, no. Tell me that it is good. Don't tell me if it is good. Don't tell, don't give me your fourth to say that it's good. I need a validation. Harry uh, is very passionate about these guy ones. <laughs> it's just a silly idea that I wanted to do. And it won't come up, there won't be anything like it again. There's not going to be any kind of shield guy, you know, or zipline guy. Harry, stop tempting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, could, I could hear the cogs of your brain coming up with how that would work. But, uh, well, yeah, there, there is going to be another one. But that's, that's for next time. But it will stop there. There'll be no, there will be no more of this. Tom Foolery. No, actually, I'm going to do a type guy and platform guy for other classes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one do we want to? You're unstable. Um, yes. Overcharged um, release. That sounds sounds a bit sus. <laughs> all of my unstables. Uh, Tyler, your last <laughs> one was called erupting cock. <laughs> yeah, all of them are slightly. Uh, what was the word? Innuendos. That's the one. Only a slight in you in a stubby no. take sus MG. <laughs> uh, so this one is not really the opposite of my balance, but this one I kind of doubled down on the whole electricity thing. And stole the idea from me. 
What? <laughs> Did you? This was inspired by my overkill idea, right? When you get more damage with every kill. If it was, I wasn't aware of it. <laughs> but we talked about that before you came up. With this. Yeah, but this isn't that at all. Like Dreadnought. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah. No, this which was, will bring uh... up when we talk about beers. Right, carry on. Do that. We we need to be doing more of those videos um, that have just like other like there's these the this video you know a series of the overclocks then our podcast which is just our feelings of certain things in the game and there needs to be other videos like what we beers and shit like that but point is uh, this yeah this is my this is my making electricity interesting build um, where. Every time you electrocute an enemy, the stubby gets better. It improves. Uh, which sounds good. Because I think it is. But there, there is a negative in that it starts out worse. <laughs> like, Quite a bit you, worse. You do three less damage. But you stop with the button presses, <laughs> my dude. <laughs> Fine, God. <laughs> uh, Unprofessional. You yeah, you get three less damage, which stop. Oh Billy, oh right? Billy, oh Billy, oh Billy. What? <laughs> no, it's not funny. Uh, yeah, I've lost it now. <laughs> I got it right here. I can just read out what it says. No, yeah, sure, do that. On each electrocution, uh, the gun gains increased damage and fire rate uh, until you reload. Uh, plus 0.5 of each, but uh, your penalties are minus 3 base damage and minus 10 magazine size. This is kind of shit, mate. It's not nice. Well, you agreed that the damage penalty was too much. I didn't inherently agree on that. Idea is good, though. The idea is good. Well, right. I think it, it really it, it comes down to, uh, like, this would only really get better if there's enough enemies to like do it right like uh, you just i mean you probably could also charge up on the same enemy you just gotta like wait until the effect I think ends well and well the in that sense yeah or victorians like, wardens bigger targets that can be executed betsy can be and, executed yeah and I, I feel like i feel like you can like you know get it to be good i think you know, um, like obviously the the max size does make it pretty bad if you don't improve the max size. Like you're not gonna get much more damage out of it. In fact, I imagine you probably won't. It'll probably even out. No. Um, but I feel like you know this is it's it's not just an overclock. You would use the mods to make it good, in that you would then spec into max size, which you then you can probably like. I guess like double the max size, I guess, from what I've minus it to. Minus it to 20, that you can get two more max sizes. That'll bring it to 40, right? You can get up to 50. But still, only then, you can get a maximum of plus 12.5 damage. Which is only plus nine. Which is only 9.5 more than base, and it's only towards the very end of the clip. This was my problem with it. The You, you can reach a significant amount of damage, but it's not gonna be any, of any significant use to you well it's still more damage right like you know i mean I, 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 it is awkward and i do think it has to be worked out but i just like the fact that you know charging like electrocuting enemies charges up the gun basically and it just mm -hmm. like improves it so if you were to spray down a horde and get them all electrocuted you then spray back and it will like destroy them all basically mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I just like I like the idea that it would feel like the damage is ramping up because it could count um, instances of electrocution that don't actually occur. It's just when it would occur. Yeah. I still think it technically does. I think you the electrocution effect on an enemy is essentially extended when you electrocute them again. Although it doesn't add enough for electrocution effect on, it just makes it last longer. So you still proc electricity. Um on electrocuted enemies so i like the idea of it feels like the damage is basically just going up as you shoot and i think if you take the damage penalty to minus two instead of minus three 
basically got a, a banger. I think it's that simple. I just think slightly too much of a base damage penalty. Because I, do, I don't right. think I don't I think, think it should struggle at all to surpass base damage. That's my opinion. <sighs> it should start lower, but it shouldn't struggle to get past it. I mean, it's not inherently struggling. It's only six, All right, And you bring it up to like down to four, which you know, with an this, this, and I I don't think it should be instances, right? Because if you have you can get like an eighty percent charge rate. So that that would then like be like you spray into a thing like a single grunt and you'll be able to get it to normal level. <laughs> like, that's not really what it's for. <laughs> you don't just like shoot and it like starts bad and then gets better because then it's just a, a weird gun. But like it should. I mean, I think I think maybe it may be then increase the damage you get per shot, like per charge, because then you wouldn't have as much as an issue. I mean, then it would only be three. I don't know. I, th I, I, it's, it's an iffy one. But I'm fond of the playstyle that it, it, it would like, kind of create. For me, the playstyle to create is I would like spray it at a horde, and, and then, then focus a big target. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, it's weird, but, but interesting. I don't think it's bad. I don't think this would make the gun feel weak. I'm just I'm gonna say that. Um, but I'll stick by my change. We just a drastic change. I don't know why you're so opposed to it. <laughs> Not a drastic change, is it? Well, I think that would make it a bit too strong, but sure. Because <laughs> I feel like then the negatives really aren't that strong. It's weird. Um, I feel like considering... it's always on the cusp of being too strong or too weak. It's like I can't feel like yeah, can't really I, change I think, anything. I think it really comes down to if you use it well, <laughs> like. Like, you know, it, I think it, an increase of nine damage. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I like it. I think I do like it because it's only really um, makes makes the gun worse if you can't get on this overclocks wavelength. If you can't get with it and play the way that it clearly wants you to, you're not going to have a great time. But if you can uh, get along with it. Yeah. Which will. I think for overclocks, that's kind of Perfectly what it should reasonable. be. Okay, uh, sure. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> Are we we're done? Well, unless you want to come up with something else. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I'd rather not think or talk about the stubby. Well, <laughs> ever again. Yeah. And you won't have to. Until we, um, until we do, uh... Until we, come, until, until we come up with our new overclock category and we come up with <laughs> those for every weapon. If we that if we so don't cool. come up with a better idea by the time this series is finished, that's how it will continue. Because <laughs> <laughs> and my the only problem with that, I'm gonna move us to the end screen now because we are done with this shit. Next time, yeah. smart rifle. Um the only reason, the only problem with that, in my opinion, was where would I get the border of the overclock icons from? Just make it. Uh, but one kind of exists. I would just use the one for the mineral canisters. It looks kind of neat. And I think I could change the colour. Is it like a different shape? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a circle, and... mostly. It's like circular. But it's still got the same details. And, and that's what, what I want. It? It's just black and white. But I think I could make it purple or something. Yeah, I was thinking purple. Yeah. Like, a nice, like, violet purple thing. That would be, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Uh, I think, I don't know, I don't know what it would be, obviously, you know. Perfect be... over clocks. <laughs> That's my idea. Well, wait, I was thinking more, like, fun ones. Um, like, it shoots confetti or shit like that. <laughs> like, like, silly ass shit. Um, <laughs> silly ass shit clocks. Just our overclocks. <laughs> but yeah, I joke, mean, joke, I, I, joke I don't know. clocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clown clocks. But over clowns. Yeah, I don't. Know. Obviously, this yeah, this is not anywhere close to serious. But what do you mean? This is serious stuff. <laughs> You're right. I apologize. 
Anyway, Four. next time on Overclock Workshop is the uh, the smoke smoky one lark rifle. Um, I got some good ideas. You got some bad ideas. Let's Thank make you. let's make them all good ideas. Yeah, no, I actually don't like the smart for a rifle one. Smart, it's not. But look forward to it. The smart, but it's not good. Smart fella. <laughs> See you all next time. Like and subscribe. Bye. Or else. <laughs>